everyone, Double here, back for part 40 of our Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. In the last part, we reached Trake Spine, and um, when we opened the gates to the Mother Crystal, Ultima was there waiting for us, not surprisingly. Uh, he teleported Clive and Joshua to a different, like, dimension or realm or something. Um, showed them how uh, everything started, basically. Um, uh, why Ultima and, I guess, like, his people chose Valisthea. And how Mother Crystals and Magic... Uh, got started in Valisthea, and that Ultima actually created people, humans, in Valisthea, in the world. Um, so, yeah, we did that. Ultima fought us, and, you know, we, we, beat, we beat him, but then uh, it wasn't really, I guess, his true form. Um... He, Ultima, kind of was like, okay, Clive, is you're, you're ready for us to take over your, um, your body now. And then teleported to the Crystal Dominion Tower, where there was like this tower, this spire there. And uh, he transformed it into a new Mother Crystal or something. Um, Clive and Josh got teleported back out of the, that darkness realm and uh, everyone regrouped at the hideaway um, you know to see what can be done about this new threat um, and to give us like time to or to give them time to like clear their heads and think straight about the situation which you know obviously means that we'll be going on some side quests yeah, to break up the pacing a bit. Um, something that I discussed in a... Uh, I forget which part that was, but I want to say it was like part 34, 33, maybe 32? I don't remember. It was a part in the series where I talked about side quests. Or, well, not side quests. Well, I mean, I did talk about side quests, but... Um, it was mainly focused on story, Your town needs you. structure, and quest design. So it was a bit of side quest talk and story talk. Um, I'm going the complete wrong direction for <laughs> uh, one of these. Both of these quests, actually. Alright. So you are content to abandon the Please, if you are a true son of Northreach, you must That's exactly or trying to at least. Even when our true enemy fine. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word like father like. She made an uninvited appearance at the hoping to convince the dame to join her. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to. Anyway, what our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of. Uh, you know what? They're back. Seems that way. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see... Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? I'm on my way. Thank you, Clive. I'll look into one of the other sightings. All right. Akashic are back. Who'd have thought? <laughs> um... Right. So... Because I figured this would be a side quest heavy part. 
Come on. I thought I might as well talk about, you know, some of my thoughts on the game overall already. Um, I usually do this during the credits of the game that I play, but... Seeing as how there's really not much for me to talk about in terms of the game itself, like what's happening on screen, um, I thought I might as well just maybe not give my full review of the game, but just just a thought that I had um, while playing it. So initially. When I first started this series, I said that I was quite excited for the fact that um, we'd be getting a game, a new Final Fantasy game, and the fact that it reminded me a lot of tactics with its setting, with its Actually, mostly with its setting, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything drew me towards the game in terms of like drawing parallels to tactics other than um, the setting and the premise of the story. Like the first bits of the story that I saw felt very much like tactics to me. And that's that shouldn't be surprising because... Um, Right? I am. I dispatched the few that I... Well, there's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the... Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I sh you head back to Northreach. I... What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy stirring up ill feeling towards her father. What? I'll do what I can to come. Be careful, lad. Don't worry, I'm not like you. Once... <laughs> Oh boy. Do you not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. Oh, can it? We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore. Jeez. You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Honestly. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a brandit. <gasps> Jealous, are you? <laughs> that a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Clive! I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Oh, fuck. No, 
work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Cair Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame. What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates. Archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! But she is but a common... Can it? Or, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. You can't demand respect and authority. The men have their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, milady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And well, I can't prompt. All right. But take care. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us. Till then, madame. I think it's utterly hilarious that Clive said, I don't know if what I can do will help because he is like a walking deletion machine. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I would, I'm, I'm not surprised that, you know, tactics in Game of Thrones have kind of similar starting points because I feel I think I might be wrong but they both seem to be based either on like War of the Roses or some Something other thing um, so they both draw from similar rather similar inspirations and I, that's that's what I felt that you know uh, this is the beginning, the setup to 16 was going for, right? And the other reason why I find the comparison to tactics so apt is because in tactics, you know, you kind of find out that the crystals that everyone thought, the crystals of ta the, the, the game in tactics or a site, it's not exactly a force for good, right? Um, yeah, like you learn that Horosite can, while it might be able to be used for good purposes, um, it's really dependent on the will of the person holding it. Um, which isn't like similar to the mother crystals and the crystals themselves, which are just straight up evil. Well, not evil, but like it's doing a lot of harm to the world of Alistair. And. Whoa. Ow.
it's over. <laughs> but um, yeah, you both you, in both games you realize that the crystals aren't really all of their kind of cracked out to be, and I wonder how the other better hurry back to town. You find out, you know, that the uh, actual bigger problem lies with the crystals themselves, as opposed to perhaps um, you know, something else. And you, the road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. So glad to hear it. Well, I thank you both for. You were right, and I was wrong. I had thought that the only way that without a strong hand they would drift apart, to be. But you, not by force, nor by the exercise of, but by simply being one of them. Our purpose was ever the same. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of em <laughs> You have the... As did you. His radiance said it himself. I forgot that. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken... I only wanted you to understand how, how I felt. Do not blame yourself, my dear. I should have listened to... Your eminence. Your ladyship. But I believe the same could be said of... Our we all want safety, security, prosperity. And we may yet achieve it. Will you join us in this? Yes. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. And today there are more than... Hooray! We've solved the problems of Northreach. Madam Isabel, in, in these dark... I see that it is not men like me. You're right. Forgive me for saying so, my lady. The dame said it herself. And that goes for you. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Well, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the... Can we get you anything? Oh, we still have more. Okay. <laughs> um, But yeah, like, okay. So I guess, like, the thought is, you know crystals are bad but then in 16 we thought just to you know just getting rid of the, of the mother crystals would you just know be the solution but then we also discovered um ultima and all of that which really reminded me of finding out the treatment of the wounded i'll be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help <laughs> don't mention it oh but i must tell me if northridge had fallen what would you have done? But I sense you would rather have died here. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. It's the sweetest thing a man could say. <laughs> Very well. I was Carla then. So sought after was I that it was only they. Alas, for naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard. After they discovered us together, he and so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving, until we found ourselves here. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, those that could be healed at least. He passed away. He did, but at least we were able to share a few moments of peace. It was the greatest gift I... But the generosity of this town and how the men and women of the Vale supported me through, though I was still a stranger to them. And so I swore that I would return the kindness, that I would repay my debt. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> Perhaps that is why I have so... Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. The people, the soldiers, all united in defense of this town. And what of you? Gonna go save the world. Support too? Always. That's how I'll defend Northreach. <laughs> um, but yeah, learning about 
learning about Ultima kind of reminded me of um, when we discovered that the Zodiac Stones, the Arasite turned people into, um, you know, those, I don't know if they're like monsters or if they're the Zodiac Braves or what, I forget. It's been a while, but uh, anyway. Emblem of the Veil, Northreach's far-famed far far house of ill repute. Town is the gateway to the imperial capital of Oriflam, where waves of old money and new lap against the opposing tides of the Great Wall. Got some more calcum and meteorite. Nice. Um, uh, right. Might as well just walk there instead of teleporting. <laughs> this the last one. Just a little further. But yeah, that that reveal kind of felt as it felt similar to me to the way that using auras that turns you into those uh like um i forget if they're named after the same things so like uh belial and dremelec oh excuse me sorry but those reveals really felt similar to me um what does she have that's new? Ah. Heaven's cloud damage. That's ah, fine. You've a keen eye. I'll be here if you need me. Um. I could and you know, both of these games deal with the disparity between two groups of people. Right. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. At your service, please. Just Sid. Oh, of course. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me up to become a scout, yes. I am. But I swore I'd face him. Who would that be? Gav. No magic, no support, just what it taught me what one man can do, and I've been training ever since. So that what <laughs> I'm sure he'd be you clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. So <sighs> You haven't even started yet. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The gu and bring it here. And bring it here, right. No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost, you'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, all without being discovered. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. Know my limits. Right, I won't let you down. All right, say so, bud. I'm just like an eager young pup. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. On my way. Are we just gonna clear the path for him? <laughs> All right, Ember. Impress me. Anyway, uh, yeah, both games deal with like two peoples, two two groups of people. You know, one of them oppressed, the other not. And, you know, I, I'm not going to compare like slavery to the, the like the, the plight of slavery to um, those like the disparity between the, the, the royalty and the commoner class. Right. The, that's those are way different. I really didn't wish I had to fight these guys, but they're not going to leave me alone. Um, but that's, that's, you know, that's where... A lot of the conflict is in both games, right? That's the reason why the Lita turns. It's the reason why there are all these rebellions and tactics. Um, it's the reason why. Perhaps young Emma really is ready. Or maybe not. 
Clive is doing what he does. The reason why Ramza is doing what he does. Um, they both kind of learn about Damn it. the plight of the people. Well, my, like, to put it simply. to go through me. Oh, well, I Come guess on. he's dead. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, and they both have like all these, all, like a lot of talk about like how one's lot in the world shouldn't be determined by their birth. Um, and... Uh, what else? I have like a l whole thing of things that I wanted to say. <laughs> I didn't expect you back. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought he must have fled. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. He was nowhere to be seen. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but the right man for the job. What? I believe this is the logbook you take. Don't you tell me you breached the tower whilst what? To bring the thing back without He has you then, is there? But Sid, he He did what he thought was best. Of course. Don't you leave my son. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this won't be an easy decision. Oh, I guess we have to go back to the hideaway. Alright, that's fine. Uh, is there anything else in Northreach now? Sick. Then I guess it's off to collect some oil for mid. Um. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, yeah, they both deal with, you know, those kind of issues of people being judged for how they were born right instead of After what happened here it's a miracle that was only left at all who they are is that it um and you know they both they have ultima as the main big bad and ooh goblin muggers oh boy And, um, you know, Ultima needs to possess something to possess a body.
Oh, this is for Torgal, isn't it? Uh, I think I'm going to keep that for later. So all this to say, I feel like there's quite a bit of similarities between the two games. But I think something that um, I'm actually looking for the hunt that was supposed to be in Sandbreck that I completely forgot about. Um, where's the croc? There it is. Oh. So, okay. Come on. Just put a marker here. Well, that's where we fought the Bomb King, isn't it? Anyway. I feel like the the biggest difference is I just think uh Ramza's story is a bit more compelling. I feel like Ramza is a bit more of a compelling character. I mean I really like Clive, but I feel like Ben Starr's voice acting is doing a lot of heavy lifting. And, you know, the struggles that Rams goes through, there are quite a bit more like personal connections to him, right? He has to deal with his childhood best friend, um, being, doing other like things outside of his control, um, things that he wouldn't be totally cool with despite the Thanks, fact that they're both reaching for the same goal um he has to deal with his brother or one of his brothers being perhaps you know not the best person <laughs> I, I, he was he was a pretty bad bad guy in the game Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was going to be the vertical one. Another thing I think makes tactics good is like, so in this, we have quite a bit of like different factions to consider, but I mean like, it's not like that's a bad thing, but A lot of the enemies and bosses that you face in tactics 
They all have some kind of... Oh boy. Well, I want to say all of them, but most of them have some kind of relevance to Ramza, right? Ow. Especially like the big players in the game have a lot of relevance to him. Um, like maybe the Cardinal of the church doesn't... Jeez. A lot of the steps to take that Ramza takes to get to the final boss, even the final boss takes over his little sister's body in order to be able to, you know, manifest into the world of uh, Evilus, right? And I feel like some of that is missing in 16. Um, like the closest we got to something like that is, um, you know, going after Hugo Kupka, right? Going after Titan. And uh, I think it really helps tactics. What are you looking for? Have because or I think what another thing that helps tactics is Farewell. the fact that there's a singular faction to kind of focus your you uh, ire against um, and what I mean by that is you know the, the bad guys in tactics are is the church in, the, in that game right the church of Labrador's and obviously you don't find out about them until later on, but you find out like they're the ones that are manipulating everything behind the scenes. Um, but like all of the opposing factions that you face, it all stems from the Church of Glavidos, right? Whereas here it's like we have all these different nations and so our priorities against who is good or, good or bad kind of changes with you know each nation we have to go against like obviously the ultimate bad guy here is ultima and he has been you know kind of he kind of had his hand in a lot of different things um but I don't know, there, it just feels a little flatter to me compared to the way it was done in Tactics. Particularly because I don't think a lot of the you know, Rutherford, get it? big opposing like Turncoats and cowards, the lot of you! Allow me. I don't need your please, uh, Field Marshal. This won't take long. Oh boy. You're right, men. Yeah, it really didn't take that long, did it? <laughs> A little longer than I'd have. Bro, it was like three seconds. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. Fucking traitors. 
I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions, but I hadn't thought the corruption had reached. It's a fuck your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to. My lord, Marquis. Or is Sid the outlaw? Call me what you want. It doesn't change all the urgency of the message I bring. Before I. I'd have you answer one. What do you stand to. Peace in the realms? I, that I might benefit. I seek a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not all I know for so long, so many of us have been told how we could live when it should have been our decision all along. But in order to take it, we must stand together. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. You are, no, I'll never hear the end of this. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to... Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't... Thank you, Field Marshal. But they are not the only... What do you mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals. But those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. We will need an envoy. One who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. I'm flattered. And I have other problems. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. Is that so? And would he happen... Of a different kind. Oh. I suppose we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw on ourselves if we're to make it through this. I shall. We're not going to send Byron, are we? That'd be pretty funny. Uh, my lord, my, your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to him. And I will see that my associate joined. Very good, my lord. Huh. An envoy. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. Someone like Quinton. Oh. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that's for Joshua. But yeah. Um. You have to listen to me. They're coming. You need to oh, right. We need to talk to those. Two idiots who won't listen. <laughs> Why do they always have to make such a fuss? Ah. What do you want? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? Lube or perhaps? You may believe his lies might- But why would he lie about something like this? Some twisted attempt. If he had not been unmasked, a great honor for one, he might well feel aggrieved. Lord Underhill, forgive me. But Lubor cannot be trusted. You may not trust me. But for the sake of your people, if there is any chance that this... There isn't. Now nah, be off with you. Oh my god, just go outside and look. You're making a mistake. Christ. Do you people not want to, like, send scouts? If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. You're right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. Where? Goodness gracious. Anyway. I think we'd better shut up. What's Lubon raving about? Yeah, a lot of the antagonists in tactics, while they might not, not all be related to Ramza, you know, they have close ties or they they're either, you know, uh related to him or someone day, who knows Ramza or is part of the party or has been pestering Ramza uh throughout the game right Here and i feel like i find those to be more compelling Thank you people to fight custom. against like the closest we got to that is kupka lord further sid what's wrong i went to warn conrad and natalie about the akashic but they've convinced themselves that nothing lubor says can be trusted 
The bloody fool. Which means the town guard can't be counted, but I can. You only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid, further! Victor? I couldn't abandon and blue boys in need at this very moment. Oh, great. This is this another cutscene? Yeah. You have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire. And they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There will be no parley, no mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Well, oh, but you're a bearer who lied to us this whole time, so you gotta be You'd lying like about that. this too. Wouldn't you, bearer? Ugh. Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. It's you who should run! <gasps> run, bearer! Yeah, yeah run! run. Yeah. Far, far run. away! Run! This is so ridiculous. The world is ending and this is wait. Someone's coming. What what are the kids gonna do? Oh my god, what have I done? Oh, I hurt a child. What did Lubo ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day every day making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever. But did Lubor ever complain? Well? Does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like he doesn't even exist! <laughs> Lubo, we've heard enough. No! Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> so tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. This is... <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Gather round if you don't want to die. absolutely <laughs> such a silly all right whatever 
What do we got? Allow me to explain the situation. The ether flood occurred near the village of Cheratina. The place had been abandoned until the League of Outlaws decided now they're all turned and if they are mindless monsters. With the bandits, we at least knew how and when these creatures come. The town guard will muster at the north gate. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers ready to... And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position and see that Conrad, can I... Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers and the command of our men in yours, Ferda. Consider it done. As you wish. Natalie, I would ask that you and your people have the townsfolk and tell the merchants not to waste time securing anything beside. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter. Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that, let it very well. I Where do I fit into this? Where else? But the I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlook. Main host is most likely still there. And Dalamil will not be safe and a little gardening. <sighs> I doubt it. I have a luckily so so you all right then we now it's okay yeah that's why I think Kupka that the whole story arc with where we go fight Titan like everyone's ready is one of the better think. parts of 16 um and the next bit where we go into the crystalline Dominion and have to fight Bahamut because of um, what happened with over there and you know closing that out his emotional storyline with Annabella I felt those two bits were probably the strongest 16 has been um, it's also why I didn't really care about Barnabas I think uh, I said it in a prior part to this as well, where Barnabas just didn't really feel all that compelling to me to fight against. He was just around, right? We we keep we kept on hearing about how Walud was around, and oh, to be fair, we did see um, Walud presence. There it is, the flood. The what's waiting for us inside? Walud's presence throughout the game, but we never saw anything from Barnabas or Harbor, right? Oh, I'm not. I don't need to fight these guys. Okay. Oh wow! It's this little town that I always passed through. Um we can't leave a single one alive. But yeah, I I I wouldn't you know, he doesn't Barnabas didn't have to have he didn't have to be like the leader or one of Ram's brothers or anything. I just wish he had more stake in the story. Something to show like the differences between him and Clive. Maybe like they were both fighting for the same thing, but then something happened and Barnabas's ideals got twisted because of Ultima. Like I wish we got to see some of that. Right? Ow. Oh, come on.
amazing. <laughs> Attack the lightning rod instead of the freaking enemy itself. Intense from Torgal. <laughs> the league is dis. I should get back to Dalamilla. But yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like my thoughts on this are a bit all over the place. I feel like I was like rambling about different things that kind of relate to each other but not really i don't feel like we were able to find have been seems that might be the last of them here lubo sit clive what it's done i knew you thank you my lord friends the horde has been driven back and we need not fear the arrival of victory is ours we bloody did it lubo after all you have done for this town. But we did. We only hope that you can... We need you, Lubor. So, if you would still like to be considered for the... You do remember... We do. It is a stain on ours. We thought only of what we perceived bearers to be. I see. But I will only accept your... Name them. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power to... If the Town Guard and the Merchants League do not accept my leadership... Unity is the key to defending Dalamil. When that time comes... Of course. And secondly... You will accept that if the mistreatment of bearers, any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights that they will not be judged by what they are, as we failed to do. We agree to your conditions. Condition accepted. Well then, it seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. How fickle. Not so long ago I had resigned. And now, here. Another placard for our wall? Lubo. Fear not. You are, of course, relieved. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than... I'll make sure they're safe. I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children. I'll do my best. Can't have all your hard work. Okay, Briar's Kiss signboard. Emblem of the Briar's Kiss Pride of Dalamil. Forge is almost as popular with traveling merchants as the trading post's famous healing baths, where the wary can soak away their saddle sores on the way to Drake's Bang. Um, let's see, let's see. Hmm. There's supposed to be something here. But yeah, I feel like I've said my piece on Barnabas. Um Let's go. Not a compelling dude to fight against. And Kind of a nothing burger of a villain, for me at least. Do wonder. If 
it's over here. There's supposed to be a hunt here. But, um, yeah, I think that's about everything that I wanted to talk about in relation to 16 and tactics and how they compare and contrast with each other. Um, I don't know if I got my point across too well. Um, usually when I do these things, I have like bullet points, but I don't know why I did it like this this time, but for some reason, oh no, it's not here at all. Where is the hunt? That is not a hunt. <laughs> uh, let's see. Step back to the Gilded Path. Come on. Run like the wind. Yeah, usually I have bullet points so that it's easier for me to kind of read the my thoughts and like the topics that I want to discuss but for some reason I just like wrote like a page of notes as opposed to just like little little things that I could talk about uh, I guess that was mostly because it was mostly for me to kind of think about how these two games in terms of story at least are Kind of treading the same path but in different ways oh all right thanatos boy you look different times are you going to do this, man? Spirits without, not within. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed that. I was really close. Enough.
I wonder what I can do differently. Hmm. Dark steel, extremely similar to iron, yet darker, harder, and heavier. Whatever fell magic's ultimate employed in its creation, metal has thus far proven impossible to reproduce, obtained by defeating Thanatos or the Prince of Death. And don't come back. Okay. What do we have in Dravosht? That is new for us. Uh, -bum -bum. Would you like to see my wares? Dancing steel cooldown. Hmm. 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 Pretty pretty fast. Go safely now. Aiming high. Sure one was this one? I forget. This is no time to ride. Ready, go. And yeah, talking about tactics and thinking about tactics makes me really want to play. Oh, right. Excuse me, Panther, could you... Did you not do that? Thank you. play tactics but I think I'm gonna save the tactics playthrough on this channel for when the remake eventually comes out Easy peasy. But yeah. Um, it's not like confirmed that there's going to be a remake, but it's believed that an adamantis. Well, anyway, it is believed that adamantis will grow a thin new layer to its protective shell once every two moons. Considering that many of the creatures live for hundreds of years, it should come as no surprise that the shell of older specimens can be several hands thicker and weigh over 50 stone. Oh my. I gotta get these materials to mid so she can finish her prototype. Um, 
yeah, it's not like confirmed that there's going to be a tactics remake coming out, but I mean, we got the tactics ogre remake. And so I'm hoping that that means that we'll be getting a tactics remake. And so if that ever comes out, definitely going to go ahead and grab that and play it on the channel because man, Final Fantasy Tactics, fantastic game, fantastic game. Probably one of the best Final Fantasies out there. Uh, where it is? Okay. Oh, we got a lot. A lot of side quests in this area. And a hunt, if I remember correctly. Wasn't there like a goblin who took over the village? No. <laughs> In the other direction? Maybe he's the other way. Might be in the other way. <laughs> Where? Where are you, Mr. Goblin? Is he up here? No. What? I thought for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gobber mouch. There we go. There he is. Good question. Oh. Got some moves. Little swing. Oh, that's funny. Goblin punch. Oh, my. It's not expecting that.
Uh, poor goblin. He was trying his best. Goblin punch. <laughs> Primitive battle horn. As goblin communication seems limited to a painful cacophony of throaty guns and raspy wheezing, oft employ carved horns such as this one to send messages over long distances. Your journey ends here. Uh, little goblin, you tried. Okay. Got some side quest thing over there. Got another hunt down here somewhere, as well as another side quest, of course. Fly Ambrosia. Oh, and like to be clear, me talking about all of this stuff in comparison to tactics, like this whole thing, but between tactics, tactics and sixteen, it, like this doesn't mean that I don't like sixteen. <laughs> right. I'm actually very, very happy with this game. Um, really, really feel like I enjoyed the combat quite a bit. Um. Is the hunt here? And like to speed, to speed, to speed. What the? Despite my grievances, <laughs> uh, I really like the. I, I I'm enjoying the story quite a bit. I've been enjoying the story quite a bit. I've been enjoying the characters that we interact with. Um, You know, I've been enjoying a lot of what this game has been offering me. So, like, you know, just it's it's like that thing where you know people. I can never get that attack correctly. You know, criticize what you love, right? Okay. Uh, why is that attack so hard for me to dodge? I don't. I don't know why. <laughs>
Oh, nice. 200,000. Finally. I feel like there could be some optimization in there. Even should one manage to survive the rows of diamond hard serrated teeth lining an Archaeosaur's jaw, it is likely one's reprieve will be short lived as awaiting one just beyond is a granite tongue sure to finish the job. Ugh. I've had warmer welcomes. I do think it'd be better if I used Rift Slip. Good girl. Maybe I can do Rift Slip after I put down the Lightning Rod and then cancel into Zantet skin. I don't know. Maybe that's the play. Might this be Mickelbug? Be safe. Which one is Mickelberg? Okay, so this is the one for Cyril. Safe enough at least. What is going on here? Ah, heed the call. No, I. To be honest, I. Mm, is that so? What are you doing here? It is my home. You keep saying that. They came here to perform the rite. This village where they shall cast their shoals upon the gentle waters. Give themselves. Oh, Lord. Let us be reborn. Free us from the... They want to be... S Forgive me. You mean the traveler from stone? Thank you. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <laughs> At least the third chair still lives. Is this a going death cult? Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's see if we can loot this town of any goodies. Weird. Some fallen ruins over here. Like this could definitely be uh, an elevator that goes down or something. Maybe. Okay, let's hope this guy is also not joined the death cult. <laughs> Chronicles of Merkfar being a collection of tales as recounted to his most exalted majesty, Lord Bjarnhard of the Veldermark. You are no doubt aware, Lord Bjarnhard, there was once a rare race of men who commanded the most forbidden of forbidden magics. Did you ever hear tell of the executors, those charged with driving out these heretics? Order had its origins in the crystalline dominion, by whose rules decree it was tasked, by whose rulers decree it was tasked, with the protection of mankind, and set forth to extinguish the forbidden magic wherever rumors of its use might arise. Having in due course succeeded in their mission, and driven the utters, the utterers of the unutterable from the land. The secretive souls withdrew from the stage of history, never to be heard from again. Huh. 
Aren't the executors the people who stole Viv's book? Excuse me. I am. Lord Rosfield. That's right. And you must be the third. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. He said that you had failed to report. I came here to study the followers of this new faith. You oh, gosh. They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord, praying night and day that they might not, that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes. Serve him with all. I, too, swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but Bro. And so I would see it through. See these people safe, that they might do their duty to their lord. You do understand. I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to thee. Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. Did you hear that, my lord? I'll go find out what. the flood there must be something well i guess you guys got what you wished for echoes as well why are you all screaming ready this is what you wanted isn't it ready Okay, I wasn't being serious about the elevator going down, but... <laughs> okay... We meet again. Titus? 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 What happened to you, bro? Ow. Thanks for the shield, Josh.
<laughs> that wasn't so bad. Got hit a couple times, but... to find true oh please by devoting themselves to the service of their lord just as I did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in a duty to serve was everything to me and I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become a Kashik, in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah, look, my lord. They are saved. You know, for a moment there, I thought we were going to have to fight them. <laughs> Boy, that would have been something. <laughs> oh my gosh, we traveled all the way back to Dalmiki. Are you serious? They Holy cow. Saved. Found I should get this report to see. Welcome, welcome. Take care. Huh. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Still have quite a bit of stuff left, but I think this part has gone on long enough. Um, yeah, so we will come back to this in the next part, polish off these side quests, and that will probably be another part. So, um, yeah, hope you guys look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the kind of rambling discussion uh, comparison points that I had in this one. Um, again, only saying this because I, I do enjoy 16 and I just wish, you know, there, you know, you know you, you, when you when you enjoy something, there are things that you, you feel like could be done better. Um, and maybe in the next part, I'll hi I'll talk about the things that, you know, I really, really like about this game. <laughs> or maybe I'll save that for the end um, during the credits. But 
Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.